Hello, hello everyone! My name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a massive book haul. keep doing this to myself uh where I'm gonna do oh smaller mini book hauls maybe combine it with other videos like vlogs and then I don't do that and then I end up with these massive book hauls but also at the same time I've been a little bit on hiatus from the YouTube channel my bookish YouTube channel um because I've been traveling and moving and starting school and just all these different things but I am finally able to kind of have more of a routine and so because of that I have more time to film and do things like that. Now, I have not done a, a haul since like last December. Like it's literally been over half a year. So this is, these are all the books that I have acquired this year of 2024. So it's going to be a lot, so we're going to go through this quickly, but it's a massive book haul. Also, before I get to mention, I am currently reading The Secret History by Donna Tart. Okay, I swear, my shelves feel so empty with all of these books off, and I just had not realized how many books. So, alright, we're getting started. In no particular order. Curious Tides by Pascal Lasselle, Dark Academia, Water Moon Magic. The Shadows Between Us and the Darkness Within Us by Trisha Levenseller. Love this author. Love both of these books. The Scarlet Veil by Shelby Mahirin. Complimentary to the other trilogy that she wrote, um, The Serpent and Dove. Master of Iron by Trisha Levenseller. Finally got my hands on a hardcover of this book. Yay. The Hemlock Queen by Hannah Witten. Her new duology. That's Not My Name by Megan Lawley. Thriller. That's all I'm gonna say about this one. I read it. I liked it. Funny Story by Emily Henry. Two people whose exes got together, then also get together. To Kill a Shadow by Catherine Quinn. A fantasy that I remember nothing about. Wicked Fox and Vicious Spirits, the Korean-inspired duology by Kat Cho. House of Roots and Ruin by Erin A. Craig. I also got a complimentary uh, artwork to go with this. It's dope. Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. Standalone Fantasy. Fence Volume 1 by C.S. Bacat, Joanna the Mad, and Jonah La Fuente. I'm so sorry. Graphic Novel. Murder in the Family by Kara Hunter. Buddy Read Mystery Documentary Script. Momcom by Adriana Mather, A Holiday Baking Romance, Along Came Holly by Cody Hall, uh, Christmas Romance, The Coven by Harper L. Woods, witchy spooky book, Love Boat Forever by Abigail Hingwen, third book in the Love Boat Taipei series, complimentary, those books, I love those books. Heart of the Sun Warrior and Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Su Lin Tan. Second book in the duology, a compliment book. Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. Finally got my hands on a hardback copy of this book. Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. Obviously. The Midnight Jewel by Michelle Rochelle Mead. I tried to buy this book and then they gave me a library copy, which is not the version that I ordered. So I finally went and I got myself the copy that I wanted and I'm so happy. Finally. Foxglove by Adeline Grace. I keep forgetting that I don't own Belladonna, so one day I will be getting that one too. The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. The book I thought I was buying when I bought To Kill a Shadow. Death by the Deerling by Laura Childs. Cozy Tea Shop Mystery. Death by Bubble Tea and Hot Pot Murder by Jennifer J. Cho, cozy uh, mystery around food and Asian culture. How to Sell a House by Grady Hendrix. Super spooky, loved it. The Center by Yisha Manazir Sodeki. 
Babiki. Dark Academia translators, multiple languages. Super spooky. Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Do Doyle. Moira Fowley Doyle. Irish witchy book. Fable by Adrian Young. Not a sticker. Won't come off. In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. Queer merman pirate prince romance. This Cursed Light by Emily Feed, the second book in the duology of This Vicious Grace. The Inheritance of Arcadia Divina by Zoraida Cordova. I cannot get the sticker off, it's not cooperating, but Magical Realism, I don't know, Latino Family. What the River Knows by Isabella Ibanez. This is a, like, Indiana Jones Latina main character figuring out what happened to her parents in Egypt. The Fox Wife by Yang Shi Cho. Chinese mythology. Foxes. Dial A for aunties. Four aunties in a wedding. And The Good and the Bad and the Aunties. The series by Jesse Q. Sutanto. Comedic murder contemporary. It's hilarious. Tokyo Ever After and Tokyo Dreaming by Amiko Jean. Contemporary uh, Japanese American girl finds out she is the princess of Japan. When in Rome by Sarah Adams. The book that came out before Practice Makes Perfect, which I read and loved and bought first. Small town baking romance, scrumpy sunshine, uh, famous person, local. Can't Spell Treason Without Tea by Rebecca Thorne. Uh, cozy fantasy, a lot like um, Legends and Lattes. Delilah Green Doesn't Care and Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake. Queer Romances. Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands by Heather Fawcett. Second book in the series, still gorgeous. The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. Thriller. A bunch of authors get together, some spooky things happen. The Prisoner's Throne by Holly Black. This is the Barnes & Noble edition because the other book in this series that I got is also the Barnes & Noble edition and I want to keep it consistent. You're on the last stack, okay. A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft. Uh, basically a fantasy retelling of Irish and English history, but fantasy and romance. Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. This is Mexican mythology. I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, it's Mayan. So it is specifically Mayan mythology, which are indigenous people in Mexico and a few other countries. So I like Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I like mythology. There we go. Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. The second book after Legends and Lattes, except it's a prequel. So cozy fantasy. An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson. Dark Academia Literature Student Poetry. Oh, got me good. The Eternal Ones by Namina Forna. The third book in the trilogy, the final book, and a good book. A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. Norse Mythology, first in a series. Very hyped. The Roughest Draft by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. Dual POV romance of two authors who have who used to write books together, then had a falling out, and now have to write one last book together. The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. One of the most beautiful books on my shelf ever. And also just as beautiful on the inside. Ancient Chinese history with a magical twist of alchemy. The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman. South Asian, almost Middle Eastern, inspired fantasy. Dropping books, things are falling. Oh no! Mirage by Sumaya Daud. Middle Eastern based fantasy. Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. Second book, super happy. Like, not quite a cozy fantasy, but like, all the good feels. Check her out on TikTok. A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. The conglomeration of kind of Egyptian and other... It's a tea vampire book. 
The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. Cozy Witchy, I think. Fathom Folk by Elisa Chen. Southeast Asian inspired mythology fantasy book. And the final book in all of this, The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. Ooh, so majority of these books I have read and I want them on my shelf. Whether I read them before or after is a whole other story. Um, but some of these I also have not read. All right, that is all of them. I'm not gonna count how many that is because that's just gonna make me feel bad. But thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of the books that you bought recently that you're most excited for, maybe some for like autumn spooky season coming up or your favorite reads of the summer. I really would love to catch up with you all in the comments. If you like bookish content like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and post every week on Wednesdays, but I am super excited. I have a ton of content planned, so woohoo. I have other bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me there for more content. As I am returning to booktube, I am also going to be returning to like my Instagram and possibly my TikTok. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you all very much for watching and until I see you in the next video, happy reading!